Hey everybody, it's Fallon, and today I've got makeup on. Look at my makeup. Ooh, so nice. And my hair is just like doing whatever it wants to do, so we're just going to let it do what it wants to do. But anyways, so today I'm going to talk about my alter ego. And my alter ego is... Da -da -da -da, Tank Girl! I watched this for the first time I think when I was in middle school and I'm not gonna reveal my age but I watched it and lived my life by this movie all through my middle school and high school years I love Tank Girl if you haven't seen the movie please go get it order it online it's probably on eBay somewhere like that um, it's a really awesome movie it's about a girl who like lives in the future and there's a water shortage and I don't want to give too much away but she finds a tank uh, while being held captive she steals it and she drives it and it's awesome it's her tank and she becomes tank girl to get revenge on the people that steal that that controls all the water in the world so yeah so uh, Comic Con's coming up this weekend and I'm really excited I'm so excited I went last year with my daughter um, Oh, let me show you my Tank Girl shirt first. I wear this out, and people always comment on it. They're like, oh my God, I love your shirt. So it's just Tank Girl. It has her there, and it says Tank Girl on it. It's pretty awesome. It's big. I like it. I like my shirts kind of big, whatever. Um, but Comic Con's coming up this weekend, and uh, me and my husband are taking my daughter. We took her last year for her first time, and she dressed up as a Jedi. Um, my mother-in-law made her the costume and she looked amazing and she's going again this year we're going to take her and last year they had a tank girl booth with one of the artists um, sitting there drawing just just like drawing doodles of tank girl and he gave me this awesome tank girl book and he signed it he's one of the um, right uh, I was gonna say writers He's the, one of the artists for Tank Girl. And you can just see the magnificent work that he does. Um, this is his little book of like his drawings that he's done. And Tank Girl's amazing. She wears like bikinis and bikini tops. And just a warning out there. Um, this one, see, it's kind of revealing. Uh, if you're younger, you know, Tank Girl may not be for you as far as the comic books go um, because there is some nudity in the in the drawings and stuff like that. So you may you may want to check with your parents first on the comic books. Uh, the movie is fine. There's no I don't think there's no nudity in the movie or anything like that. Anything bad. No sexual behaviors or anything like that or cussing or anything like that. So the movie's kind of cool, you know, you can still watch it. Um, but I was going to say, even in, I think it was my 8th grade year, uh, yeah, my 8th grade year, I shaved my head like Tank Girl. She has, like, it's shaved around, and she's got some on top. It's always different. Like, in every scene, they fix it differently. It's so cool. But I got a ton of Tank Girl comic books. This one is by Hewlett and Martin, which is uh, the creators of Tank Girl. This is uh, Tank Girl. Well, let me get the first one. Here's the first one. And I've, um, I'm an artist. I don't know if I've ever told you guys that. Um, I do murals and things around town and uh, personal paintings for people and personal drawings for people. So that's what I do. I kind of work from my home. I have like my own little like area, like studio for that. But this is uh, the first um, one and I've actually painted this picture. And this is uh, Tank Girl 2 comic book and they're really thick and like I said like the drawings inside are amazing um, and this is the Tank Girl 3 okay and then I've got packets of Tank Girl comic books I think there's there's like six in here I think but it's Tank Girl the Apocalypse um, here is a hardback of everybody loves Tank Girl and this book is amazing as well. Um, it's comic book, like a hardback comic book. It's so cool. And here's another hard book that um, I actually got this from 
my brother-in-law for Christmas, I think it was. And uh, this is McHoen, McMahoen and Martin Tank Girl from Karaoke. Uh, it's amazing. It's a hardback as well. Um, anything Tank Girl, I'm obsessed with. Um, actually, and I'm going to show you guys this. I know you've probably seen it in other, vi uh, other videos. There's my Tank Girl tattoo. It's pretty awesome. She's got her helmet right here. She's got on her fishnet stockings. She's got her pistol, and she's smoke. It's smoking, and it makes a swirl, which you guys know are my favorite favorite design is swirls. So there she is. She's amazing. But yeah, she's my alter ego. I like lived Tank Girl life, and was obsessed with it all through high school and middle school. Um, I just love it. it. It reminds me of me when I was younger. I, I related to it well. I was like this little punk rock alternative chick who was like really into Marilyn Manson. Um, I wasn't grunge. Or I was grunge. I wasn't like emo or anything like that. I was like alternative like Nirvana and Alanis Morissette and things like that. You know, real touchy Philly music. And um, I still live that life today as you can tell because my hair and my tattoos and um, I still listen to the same music I always did. It hasn't changed, and for some reason, I just really relate to Tank Girl. But as a treat, a treat, I'm going to go around my room and show you my paintings of Tank Girl. Let me turn on this light over here. This is just some of them that I've done. There's one. It's pretty cool. Everybody likes this one. I like that one because I like her hair in this one. And here's one that I've done. She's got on her little hat there that says tank on it. Her bullet earrings. She's really cool. Here's one where she's saluting that I did. Everybody likes this one as well. You can see my name at the bottom. Okay. And here's one that I was talking about that I painted that was on the front of that book. You can see my name there. There's that one. That one's pretty cool. Everybody likes that one. Here's one that's out of the comic book. Where she's like holding her mouth like, oh no. There's my name. And this one is Tank Girl's best friend called Jet Girl. She finds a jet in the company that's controlling all the water. She actually actually works for them. And when uh, Tank Girl is uh, captured, they become friends. And she takes the jet, and she's known as Jet Girl, and she's awesome. There's my name. So that's all my paintings that I have in here of Tank Girl. Um, so, yeah. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. It tells a lot about myself. I usually don't describe myself to others I think it's like too complicated and that they wouldn't understand anyway but I really care about you guys and I really want my eyes are watering they're not used to all this makeup on them they're like what's going on um I really don't tell myself to other people I feel like they wouldn't understand or that it would just be really boring but I'm going out on a limb here and telling you guys about it and letting you know a little bit more about me um so that's it for today i guess so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already please subscribe if you like to catch me on facebook it's b-e-a-u Bo rusher or you can follow me on instagram at Bo rusher one word love you guys I'll see you next time bye